sky A storm is coming The thunder's breaking How long have we been friends? Our entire lives. Our whole entire lives. And so I want you to understand that I'm not blaming you for getting us killed and sent to hell. Two, uh, what do you want? Two dead orphans. And I'm not even saying how drinking Satan to get back home is the worst idea you've ever had. Okay, well, Lola, what are you saying? You should pace yourself. Uh, Lola, can you get alcohol poisoning in hell?
Hey, you fucking leech! A vampire? Such a crude word. No. You are now an Ekon. And that you shall remain. Master hiding. It's still in England, isn't it? Take your place among the bearers of the lamps. One of us. One of us. I shall return as your judge and jury. The God of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind, and they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. You believe you're just fighting a disease, but it's you, the disease, Jonathan. You. Desire for blood, or to be of service to man. Curiosity is the most powerful thing you own. Imagination is a force that can actually manifest the reality. I came out of that movie and I thought that it's unbelievable how much you want to go there. And it's interesting how they have created that feeling that Pandora is actually a place and a beautiful place where you think you would like to be. The game should deliver on that promise. It should be the ultimate experience where you actually go to Pandora and where you can live an alternative life on the moon. We are working side by side with Lightstorm to create a game based on the world of Avatar. With the power of Massive's uh, Snowdrop game engine and the team's passion and <laughs> obsessive focus on detail, uh, we know they're the right group to bring the beauty and danger of Pandora to life. It's a mesmerizing world that you want to visit and see with your own eyes. To now be able to recreate that in a computer game is a fantastic, humbling experience. The excitement is uh, enormous and it's, uh, it fits very well with many of the things we are interested in. Ecology, sustainability, fighting for what you believe in. A lot of interesting values that really resonate well with the team. Our ambition is always to make the best games in the world. Uh, in this case, I think we have a unique opportunity to do something that is very, very rare. Every player gets to choose how they want to experience this incredible universe. We're about to embark on an amazing adventure. The insane attention to detail is one of the key things that made Pandora feel so real. When we're done, everybody will get to experience the beautiful world of Pandora. Your easel. Don't forget to take it when you leave. It must mean a great deal to you. I see you're a painter. I'm quite partial to sandy beaches. This is splendid. It will be the prized piece of my sitting room. If you haven't got lodging for the night, feel free to stay at the inn. I'll leave the upstairs room unlocked for you.
I'm at a fist construction site, and there's a lot of guys here who aren't exactly constructing. <laughs> Captain, actually, web down. It was an interesting course, the 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 the, the path to Spider-Man for me. Three ish, a huge franchise for you know the hugest media company in the world. So I I, I tried not to put too much into it because I can do the the, the acting stuff and the conversation stuff and the, the non you know uh, jumpy swingy stuff. And then when that stuff happens, Ross and Seth get called in and they make you gotta feel like Spider-Man more than you've ever done before. It's all about feeling like Spider-Man. Our Spider-Man is obviously a more experienced Spider-Man. He's not just learning how to swing. He's not, you know, 15 years old. He's not just getting used to his power. He definitely wanted to play up the fact that he has the ability to webs, and melee, and environment action, and gadgets, and like switch between them pretty quickly. One of the biggest reasons we at Insomniac connect with Spider-Man and with... Delivering that fantasy of, I'm swinging through this concrete jungle gym of New York City, and I'm doing it with speed, style, flow, fluidity. It's all come together from like prototype space to now you really get that sense of speed with the visual effects that are there. It was a great challenge for us to take who we are, what we know, and just branch out even further as we build it. Hi, my name is David Goldfarb, and this is Project White. Project White is set in an alternate history of the early Viking era. This is the Dark Ages, and in this history, humans share the world with the last remnants of a forgotten species of intelligent creatures. Now what's unique about our game is that you see the world through the eyes of these creatures. And at the moment, we have the point of view of a young creature, basically a child as it's searching for its parents. As you can see, these creatures move on all fours. Our young creatures are good at sneaking, climbing, and jumping. This is a cruel world, uh, and humans have almost eradicated your kind entirely. Here we can see two of them hacking away at the body of your father. Probably to take a trophy. Hit that hump. They've spotted us. We need to get away. And while a child, you can easily be killed, even by the weakest humans. We're trapped on this bridge. Maybe there's an escape route. Okay, I think we're safe. As you move around the caves and tunnels that these creatures inhabit, you'll see what humans have done to your kind over the years. Sneak to safety. Now, one of the things about being a young creature is that you're, you can crawl into spaces that no human could follow. This huge cave with the mysterious tree is one of the last few places of refuge in the world for creatures like you. So that's the world through the eyes of a young creature, running away from even the weakest human. Now we're going to go forward in time and see the world through the eyes of a larger, more powerful adolescent creature and see what they're capable of doing.
there's no one out there, Artyom. No one to help us. No one to hear us. If there was, don't you think we'd have found them? This world is dying. We have to accept it. There's only us. Why do you keep going up there? What are you hoping to find? Each time you go out there, I wonder if you'll ever return. The Metro is all we have left. And I don't want to die here alone. Samurai. You are a warrior. I can see that. You trained your whole life for this. And you have won battles that lesser men have called unwinnable, yes? But while you were sharpening your sword, do you know how I prepared for today? I learned. I know your language, your traditions, your beliefs, which villages to tame and which to burn. So I'll ask you once again, Samurai. Do you surrender?
I wanted a mission. And for my sins, they gave me one. Luke, would you play that tape of Captain, please? But we must kill them. Pig after pig. Cow after cow. Your mission is to proceed up the Nung River in a Navy patrol boat. Pick up Colonel Kurtz's path at New Moon and infiltrate his team by whatever means available and terminate the Colonel's command. Terminate with extreme prejudice. You don't know where the hell you're going, do you? Do you?